Let's wrap this up. How to get started with photography in 2024. Crazy, right? I started my photography journey more than 10 years ago. So if you maybe just picked up your first camera, or maybe you're about to pick up your first camera, either way, this is exactly what I would do to get started with photography in 2024. So let's dive in. If you're a novice and unsure whether photography will become a passion or it's just maybe a passing interest, you have two options. You can either begin by using your phone's camera, a highly viable choice nowadays, or go for a very inexpensive camera. Avoid making huge investments at this stage. You might discover in a few months that photography is not your thing and you already invested too much in it. But if you do want to pick yourself up a camera, this is what I would recommend. A Sony A7 or a Nikon D750 or a Canon T7. As you can see, I'm not stuck with a specific brand. And in this specific phase, you need to try different camera brands to see which one is for you. Then you might want to pair that with one or two lenses. Actually, I would go with two lenses, a zoom and a prime. Maybe a 50mm with a 1.8 and something in the range of 20 to 70 uh, with a variable aperture. Why two? Because you get a zoom and you understand how zoom lenses work and you have wide angle and also a bit of a tight one and prime or fixed lenses because it has that low aperture value and you can get these shots with creamy background. Gear will not make an impact on your shots in the beginning. You need to firstly learn how to use a camera, what to do with a camera, how to take good shots, what makes a good shot, work on how you compose your shots, work on your camera settings, basically every single thing except gear. It makes absolutely no difference whether you have a camera setup of 10K or just 400. The important factors are your passion for photography and your understanding of how to take a good photo. Next thing, I'm going to be as honest as I can. It doesn't matter how many videos you watch on gear, exposure triangle, how to compose and the other stuff. If you don't go out and shoot, and experience it yourself. You need to shoot constantly and try different things. In the beginning, you have absolutely no clue how to shoot. So shooting more and different things will make you understand how to compose a portrait, how to look for a subject in a landscape, how to take product photography, how to tell a story with street shots. Starting a photography journey requires a supportive community. Why? Because it will help you grow faster and learn from each other. I moved from Romania to Germany and I'm kind of still searching for people around where I'm living so that we could go and shoot together or we could work together. This is not always an easy job. And I say that because I am also struggling a bit, but bear with me. Hit the story on Instagram. Make a reel on Instagram where you ask specifically for the people which are in your area and maybe they'll come and interact or when you see a specific person which is around your area or around where you live send a dm and ask if he lives around if you could meet maybe next time that he's coming around that's a great way to try and find people and keep in mind you don't need 10k a hundred thousand followers or any of this kind of nonsenses to be able to do this and of course keep in mind not everyone is going to reply. So it can be maybe a bit challenging in the beginning, but don't stop. The right people are going to reply and that's the whole motivation thing that will keep you going and you need to have it inside your mind. Okay, so you reached the point where you kind of have an idea what you're doing and you would also like to earn some money with photography, right? First question I would ask myself is, how I would like to do that, where to put my focus on. You either have one-to-one -one coaching programs like I have, where I get on call with people and they have the chance to pick up my brain on whatever topic they want. Or 
I get into a call and teach them how to pick a camera, what to look for, or maybe they just want to learn photography faster. So we jump on a call and I explain what's uh, the shutter speed, what's an aperture, ISO, composition, stuff like this. You got it. You sell your knowledge. If you want, there is a link in the description where you could book me with and for these type of calls. Next thing, you could sell your skills to businesses. There are many ways you can make money with photography, but you can't go on all of them at the same time. Pick one, focus on it, create a strategy and push it. Then when it's working and you find it easy enough to be maintained, you can go in towards another way of earning. You could do stock photography and upload them somewhere and wait for them to be grabbed by someone else, aka sold. It's a passive income. You just need to upload more shots from time to time. I could dive into this topic a lot more. If that is something of interest for you, write me in the comments and I could do a whole video on that. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, let me know down below. And if you're new around here, a subscribe would mean the absolute world to me. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.